Let's go ahead and configure a new LAN fabric. Starting with DCNM10, a fabric is a manageable object and we can define them independently. Go down to Configure, LAN Fabric Settings, LAN Fabrics. So we're going to add a LAN fabric. Click the plus sign and this is where we'll define the kind of fabric it is and we'll set up some other uh, uh, settings for that fabric. Okay. Select the encapsulation. In this case, this is going to be VXLAN or IP fabric. And we're going to use Nexus 9000 leaf switches. Okay. Now, the provisioning mode det determines whether or not we're going to use top down or, or push down from DCNM or we're going to use automatic configuration. In this case, um, I want to use uh, bottoms up uh, because. I'm going to use VM Tracker as a trigger in order to deploy virtual machine workloads. Um, if I used VTS or a, a non-DCNM orchestrated top-down, then I would select this setting here. So here's auto configuration, bottom up. I give it a an ASN number. Okay. And all right, so let's go ahead and go to the next field. And you can see for each fabric I define, I can define separate target um, DHCP servers for the workloads, my RabbitMQ server if it's different than DCNM itself, as well as the LDAP server if it's different than DCNM itself. Okay, and the default, um, and I can change the the uh, configuration server if it's different than the default as well. I also have the ability to change the segment I, uh, the various pool ranges uh, for uh, segment ID uh, and um, your partition IDs as well. Okay, so this allows me to keep those fabrics separate. Um, so after I uh, finish the dialog, I'll wind up with a new fabric name and this will uh, create a new uh, scope or a new uh, land group.